depending on if the quantizer has the input voltage zero at the center of a quantization interval or on the boundary of that interval, we can call the quantizer a mid-thread or a mid-riser quantizer. So here we have a mid-thread quantizer that there is the input voltage zero at the center of quantization interval. And we see that we have the index after, after quantization given by rounding and then the reconstruction or the dequantization, which is the quantization index times the step size. On the other hand, we have here the mid riser quantizer, and we don't have the input voltage zero at the center of quantization interval. So we have here we use a floor dividing the value by the step size, and the dequantization, the reconstruction, we multiply the quantization index by the step size and we also add half of the step size in the reconstruction. So this we have then mid-rise and mid-thread quantization. So this makes a lot of difference for small input values. So for the mid-rise quantizer, very small values, they are quantized to plus or minus half the quantization interval, half of the step size. And the mid-thread quantizer, very small um, input values are rounded to zero. So we can see the mid-rise quantizer uh, as not having a zero as a reconstruction value, but only uh, small positive and negative values. So the mid-rise is perhaps more accurate because it also reacts to small input values, but the mid-thread can be seen as saving a bit rate because it quantizes very small values to zero. Uh, we can see also, we can also observe that the mid-thread quantizer swallows the small signal levels since they are all rounded to zero and the mid-right quantizer captures the small values but distorted. 